uh, Mary Andrews from Michigan State, a number of years, active ESP. Uh, so that was a two week in Belize, lived with the family for a week, and again, good experience. I was relatively, I was, like, I was 27 years old at the time. So, you know, re relatively new to that experience. Had later an opportunity in 88 to go to uh, mainland China for three weeks. Um, various places, that, that was close to being a tourist, but we were working with poultry, so not, not that much. Uh, then in 90, went back to a marketing experience, Japan, South Korea, and Guangzhou, uh, China. Then got uh, involved in community connections of Southeast Michigan, Bloomfield Hills, Birmingham, fairly wealthy people. Uh, the connection was through the State Department, businesses, uh, educators. Uh, so I had the experience of working with uh, a Russian from Yaroslav, uh, who basically you know, lived with us in the house. I'd take him to the, quote, group events. Uh, but then the summer of, summer of, fall of 2003, had a study on tour and so I joined the group, but uh, specifically had the time to spend with the individual that was with me. Um, and then traveled to various other places, including uh, Ukraine. Uh, since then, had another follow-up uh, with an individual from Kursk, south of Moscow. Um, and, and then there was some other, other connections, but I never would have worked with that community connections group of Southeast Michigan and the business people that that involved, uh, you know, I was the ag guy, but auto dealer and, and other people were involved, if it weren't for that international experience. And so the, the Bloomfield, the, the, the wealthier Southeast Michigan folks got to see what MSU does in the vastness of agriculture. And, and so that was kind of my input and what I think I brought back to internationalizing uh, the Southeast Michigan and the people that I work with. My name is Jennifer Smith and I'm a county extension agent specializing in horticulture. And I traveled to Japan in 2009 to work on a joint project. There were 10 um, Kansans and 10 Japanese people working together on a local food systems project. And we wanted to learn about each other's ways of marketing and producing uh, fresh fruits and vegetables and hopefully learn from each other. So we spent a week staying on farms in Japan and learning about their cropping systems and their marketing for local and organic food. And I visited a tofu plant and farmers markets and learned a lot about CSAs. Uh, that was probably the biggest thing that we're behind on in the United States. Also, uh, some really good um, uh, cropping system ideas that fell us in and, and uh, crop rotation that we weren't doing yet in our area. So uh, two weeks later, the 10 Japanese people came to the United States and stayed with us, also some on farms and some with some of us who weren't living on farms. And we visited farmers markets and local co-ops <coughs> and uh, shared the ways that we were marketing local food and uh, shared our, our cropping system. So, it was easy for us to show impact to our community because we learned more from people that we were working with in Japan than they learned from us, I think. But we were able to share lots of ideas and have some cross-cultural dialogue. So great experience. Um, would love to continue it. <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity yet. My name is Jim Todd. I'm the County Extension Coordinator in, in uh, Mobile County, Alabama. Alabama's had a had a history, I mean it goes way back of, of working, you know, uh, in different different countries. In Brazil, in agriculture, Brazil has been a country that especially in the fisheries area that they've worked in for a long time. And being in Mobile, uh, we've got that's where you know the center of Alabama seafood industry is and we've got quite a bit of diversity just within our own county. I mean we've got maybe five different national uh, different uh, Asian communities uh, there as well as Hispanic, Native American. So it was kind of, kind of like the guy from Florida that was talking about earlier, you know, it, it really 
helped uh, me in looking at you know how to work with these these folks at home by, by going on uh, this is kind of an opportunity we had an opportunity to go and, and do a two-week uh, study tour to Brazil this past spring which was coming up on their their fall and uh, it was very interesting it was a knowledge exchange it's information exchange we went there not necessarily to teach anyone but to actually learn and when you look at agriculture in Brazil there's a, their technology is as advanced as ours. We learned a lot, and the farmers and the producers in Alabama are uh, are looking to. I mean, they're making these trips. They're looking uh, to other countries to look at their technologies now, and uh, and we had an opportunity to do that. So I think it's all a matter of being able to relate and uh, with your producers, relate with your communities back home. Uh, relate with your co-workers and hopefully uh, you know grow extension in Alabama by, by you know experiencing these type of things and, and that's kind of the perspective that, that, that we took. Uh, I guess the reason someone asked you know why did we come in here? Uh, the main reason I came in here is I, I, this is wonderful. I, I mean I, I think it's very good. I came in here to, to, to maybe hear how you're how you're actually sharing it back into communities, how you're relating that information back from a public value standpoint, because that's what I'm struggling with right now. How do I come back and share this information, this experience with my local community so that they buy into the public value of it as much as we have?